here at Eurobike with Andrew Descaitis, who's going to walk us through some of the best of the best. Yeah, thanks, Ben. So what we're looking at here is the new TCX Advanced, and this is the new Zero model, which is our really flagship model. Really, really, when I say new, I mean completely new from the ground up. When I say new, I'm talking about technologies like, for the first time, a through axle on a cycle cross bike down here. Of course, you notice disc brakes as well, so that's a, a really new innovation that's coming from, from, uh, from Giant as well. Obviously a new, completely new frame, carbon fiber, T800 of uh, carbon fiber up here. And what's another really neat feature as well is the seat post. So we wanted to build in some compliance. One of the cool ways we did that is through what we call the defuse seat post. It's a D-shaped seat post which actually offers quite a bit of fore aft compliance over a round seat post or one of the oversized seat posts that we used to use, or even an ISP. It offers quite a bit more compliance. Really forgiving in the rough, super, super fast when you need to accelerate through rough terrain. Uh, obviously keeps the bike propelling forward. So this is the new TCX Advanced uh, Zero, and this is the flagship line from Giant for 2014. Trans Advanced represents perhaps the uh, pinnacle of 27.5. Tell us about this bike and about uh, Giant's take on 27.5, or 650B as some call it, in yeah. general. Yeah, thanks Ben. So the bike we're looking at here is the new Trans Advanced 27.5, and this is the Zero model. This really is the flagship of what we're doing in the 27.5 line. Giant has introduced over 40 new models of 27.5, so as you walk around the show here, I think you'll notice that Giant has really stepped up to the plate for 27.5. We're not just dabbling in it, we're absolutely fully committed to 27.5 into the future of off-road riding. This bike really showcases the best work we've ever done for a mountain bike. Um, again, it's a Trans Advanced 27.5, it's a full composite bike, uh, five and a half inches of travel now in the rear end, 140 millimeters of travel up front, so it's really a... Um, Showcases kind of that more aggressive riding that the type of this type of rider wants to do in a super lightweight, uh, hyper performance package. Again, always using Maestro suspension technology, which has been out since 2005. Um, very light, very efficient, and just a really fun to ride as well.